Okay guys, we're in Cumberland at uh, TechCore FPV. Place. I'm going to meet up with Len. Let's go and have a look-see. Right here. Hello! Hi hey, there, hey, man. How are you, bud? Come Good. on in. I recognize you. You're a celebrity. <laughs> oh, geez. No, no, no. <laughs> From YouTube. You don't mind you if you're on YouTube, do you? No, no, okay. I'm on, I'm on YouTube. Okay. Come on in. Do you need anything? You want... So, um, what had happened? See, like, I got stone wolf is from my yeah 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 no that's he gave me this box so here it is oh here. my god that's awesome yeah it's an 85 like you said millimeter or there's that Holy crap. all the batteries are charged this is charged but i'm not too sure about this this just takes double a's huh. holy smokes and then i have a total of 16 batteries Four, I don't fly, so I've got basically 12. Because I, I don't want to field charge it just with time, time in the life, right? I don't have time to. So you can do four batteries in here? Four batteries. But when you time. use that, you can do more? I could do up to 24 if I really wanted to. And then, this is oh, my, I see field, that's my field charger. You must have 3D'd some of the stuff yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is... Uh, <laughs> um, oh, TPU. no way. Look at that. And that's where the GoPro goes. And then I have, uh, holy shit, man. Um, this is, these are my goggles. I, I painted my transmitter. Oh, cool. So I, I had to customize oh, it. I couldn't that. leave it alone. And, but these are Flying Unicorn by um, Hot Dog FTV does uh, straps and uh, goggle straps. And, uh, oh. And they're two inch. Oh, oh, man. Game changer. And then I painted those. Holy, look at that. Yeah, so. Couldn't leave it. Couldn't yeah. leave it alone, man. The goggles <laughs> that I have that came with my little my little thing are kind of crappy, but yeah, but the, 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 it, it yeah. works though. You know, it's in color and it, it works. And then I bring this with me, like so. I, it was just charging this up, and this is just a that's a different charger. This is just a screen. Oh, screen. Oh, so, oh wow. So I bring it with me because a lot of the times I'm remote, but there'll be people that have no idea what I'm doing and can hear it and are interested. So I'll turn this on and be like, here, watch. Oh, and wow. they're, they're amazed, right? And yeah. So it's seven inch. It's actually decent. It's old, so it, it has limited channels now. But it's diversity, so you can put two two antennas that change them to different orientations or different styles. That's what Michael needs. Yeah. Because he give me a set of goggles, and then I could watch what what he's so flying. So I've done some online whooping. I'm trying to do some online whooping. I have done it, and I'll just put my my webcam, and I'll I'll fly around and. Let people watch. Oh yeah, yeah, fly yeah. The house, so, um, yeah. Oh wow. And then yeah, it all fits in my little, my little bag. <laughs> yeah. And little, that's uh, honestly little it, bag. I know people have like they a lot of that's good, it's behind me. a lot of people. I think don't like these bags. I love it. It's everything's in one. I don't strap my 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 drones to it. I. Uh, I carry my, my drones, but it's, it's <laughs> everything is in one spot. Like, what kind of a controller or what kind of? That's a, a Tranis uh, FR Sky. Oh, is it FR Sky? It is, eh? Yeah. Oh. And then, uh, yeah, the what I well, I have the Fly Sky one, but I mean they're a cheap thing, but they work. And then, uh, I have two pretty much identical. So that's another chameleon. Oh boy, that's Armiton chameleon with different motors. It's got Armiton. Um, Armiton oh. motors, not. I would fly bot grinders on the my main go to. Okay. And I've conformal coating this one. And I haven't got to this one. I might actually do a live and just chat and film, Con paint painting it with 
waterproofing. Oh yeah. Just something to do. And then this is uh, I don't want to see these guys. But this is uh, this is pretty much my whoop and my simulator controller. Oh, so it's man, another look FR at that. Sky. Oh, um, it is FR Sky. Too. Yeah. Look at that. Um, really nice firmware. Uh huh. I don't like the gimbals. They're too small of throws for me. Like they're just too fine. Like like you were saying, you're, you're yeah. You're, this really is well, a nice controller. The little the li yeah. Yeah, no. and that was a, the the G Tech you had to build yourself. It just came yeah, with a flat. Yeah, same with I have an, an, an that A8 or whatever it is. Oh, this is cool. So and then buttons got out of uh, Retro Arcade in Alberta, Edmonton, actually. Oh. So all together, I think eight hundred bucks. What's the original game? Uh, Magic Sword. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, a lot of them came with this kind of cabinet. Yeah, the, and a lot the, of games. The guy was telling me, well, it's, it is a really good cabinet, and he said this is a something brand cabinet. You and have to make it like, so that you have to put quarters in to play it, and then the guys, you, your friends come over, you, you have to pay, sorry. Well, I, want, I still <laughs> want to light them, so they light. But, I mean, to build the cabinet, I was looking. Oh, boy. I have MDF, and I'm like, you know, at the time. That's have, probably well built, oh, actually. It's, it's got the beat up, and it's well built. Like, it's. Yeah. Um, but this is 100 bucks for a new one, right? Like, you and see, you want that. The like, arcade that I used to work for, we had pinball, we had these, we yeah. had all kinds. This here, the lock was meant very soft metal because if guys wanted to get in and steal the Just quarters, get into it. all they did was yeah. a new lock. Otherwise, we didn't want to have them bust up the whole no. game. So the locks were made very cheap because one time we'd go there, all of our games were broken into, so we lost oh, a couple hundred bucks. So that's why they went to the tokens. That would be why. They, would, they used to put uh, crazy goo in here. Oh. The whole, the whole mechanisms were buggered then. And those cost a lot of money, those mechanisms. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Because so. to just get the front, the full front. The full Trek Corps uh, living room. So I'm just about to say goodbye. Just about to say goodbye to Trek Corps. Len and uh, head back to Nanaimo. Yeah, great. You should get some merch made. Oh, I know I'm looking at that. I actually have a <laughs> Teespring shop set up. Oh. Where I charge, uh, don't charge it, I don't make anything. So it's like six bucks a shirt. Oh, okay. And the sweaters are, because you can set your own price. It's you pretty neat, right? So I bought it at. No, I bought one. I've got uh, his name's Gator, Gator the Great, I think, or Gator the Legend. Oh yeah. I bought his shirt off Teespring just because he's a good guy. He makes a couple bucks. And yeah. I like his logo. So, well, that's about it. No, I'm not into the. the I, I like my logo. Yeah, well, that's I cool. What the hell? So. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get some business. I should do that up. for myself. Get one for me. Yeah. Of mine. The price, you know, the price was. <clears throat> I, I did the math, and I like for a shirt and a sweater, and the shirts and sweaters are decent quality. I mean, the screen printing is not the greatest. It's one code of. Oh, yeah. You get it and get it out. What, but whatever. Printing, yeah. 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 Screen printing. It was it. The price was right. So, yeah. Right on. Well, awesome, Lynn. Awesome, Wayne. Thank you very it was much. Nice for meeting you. By. And I'll, Val wants to see this, so I'll have to get that out oh, for you. Oh, for sure. For sure. More, <laughs> more than welcome to it. It's fine. Yeah. Great. Well, uh, well back to Nanaimo.